the goal of this question is to find angle BCD. So that's this angle over here. So in this triangle on the right, we don't really have a lot of information. So we could do a couple of things. I mean, you might do this in a different way to me. It's absolutely fine. But one thing that I see is that this is a 90 degree triangle here on the left. So with that, I know that I can use the normal Sokotoa or sin, cos, and tan. So relative to this angle, I have the opposite and I have the hypotenuse. So that is sin. So I can say sin x should be the same as 4 over 9. Remember guys, if it's a right angle triangle, you can use these formulas. I would then say shift sin, and that's gonna give me 26,39 degrees. 26.39 degrees. So then I could use alternating angles. So I could say that angle DBC, you'd have to show this to the examiner. DBC is also gonna be 26.39 degrees because of alternating angles, due to the fact that BC is parallel to AD. Okay, so now we have 26.39 over here. The sin rule, because now we are in this triangle on the right, this triangle is not a 90 degree, so we have to either use the sin or the cos rule. The sin rule won't work, because if I look opposite this, I don't have a side, and if I look opposite one of these, I don't have any angles. So the sin rule cannot work. So then we'll use the cos rule, which is this one over here. Now the way that it works, you guys must remember this, is that this side here must be opposite the angle, and then B and C, they must be next to the angle, next to angle. So if we're using this angle, then CD is the opposite side, and then the 15 and the 9 are next to. And that's going to give us CD squared is equal to 64 comma 136. Now don't round that number off because it's not the final answer. So then CD will be the square root of that. And so CD is going to be 8.01. Okay, so CD is 8.01. Now we could easily use the sin rule because now we can say that Y is opposite the 9 and this 26.39 is opposite the 8.01. So we can use the sin rule. So that's going to be sin of angle Y or whatever Y is divided by uh, 9, sorry, you guys probably can't see that, there we go, should be the same as the sin of 26.39 over 8.01. You could then multiply the 9 across, but then don't round off, and then say shift sin. And your final answer for angle Y would be 29,96 degrees.